Bodine 52, how are you folks? America. See all these bikes out here? I bet some of them have, I don't know, 5,000, 2,000, 20,000, even 100,000 miles on them. Does it really matter? Is this, uh, this whole mileage thing some sort of silly badge of honor? Alrighty, well you can see that was Capital Harley Davidson. And we're here to talk about miles on a bike. But first I got two things I gotta say. First of all, did you see the uh, senior rider that was coming in the dealership as I was going? He seemed a little timid. It was a little bit concerning. You no know, helmet. Do what you want, but hey. Ay, ay, ay. The second is, does it get any worse than going into a dealership that you traded your 2018 Ultra Limited in for this 2021 Road Glide Limited and now see your bike on the showroom floor for $6,000 more than you traded it in for? Oh, crap. By the way, if you follow the channel and you miss her, here's Big Mama. Yep, that's Big Mama, my 2018 Ultra Limited that I traded in for a road glide. Dang, I put a lot of money into that girl. Wow. Boy, if they can get that. Capital Harley Davidson, if you want a little of the Bodine world, because there's Big Mama. All right, so now that I'm through that emotional event, they actually had to throw me out of the dealership because I was sitting on the bike for like an hour crying, and uh, they said I could take her home for like, you know, 3000 more than I traded it in. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, get what you can, right? Still a great bike. And it had just about 10,000 miles on it. Uh, it, and it was really interesting when uh, I was riding out today and I was thinking about that is when I did a video on trading it in, you know, there were a lot of folks that followed the channel and um, some folks that were newer just like, oh, dude, it's a brand new bike. Why are you trading it in? That's no miles. I go 15,000 miles of every six months and I can only ride in the summertime or, hey, I you're not a biker. You only ride seven or 8,000 miles a year. Come on. And I'm thinking about, everybody talks about that all the time. It's like it's a badge of honor. Isn't that a little crazy? Now, first let me say, um, I just got back from a, from a vacation with my wife where we went touring and we ended up going 1,600 miles and I mentioned it on the video, right? But I mentioned it on the video in context of what we were doing, right? How long the trip was, you know, how it was touring on the motorcycle, to up, and all that stuff. So it was kind of in context of that. And as a matter of fact, it doesn't bother me at all when somebody says, well, hey, I go 18,000 miles on my bike a year or 2,000 miles or 100,000 miles. So first of all, people's situations are different, right? And maybe it's those folks that just ride their bikes on the weekends, right? Now, I, I, I'm not that way, and I wouldn't buy a motorcycle for that, but who cares? More power to them, right? They end up putting three or 4,000 miles on a year. Hey, that's their business. I don't give a crap, right? Likewise, if a guy or gal says, hey, I put 20,000 miles on my bike last year, right? I'm jealous of that. Not because some sort of, hey, I'm really super cool because I, I got more miles, but more of a, man, I wish I had that much time to put miles on my bike. And if you're retired, you probably put more miles on, or I know some guys ride to work and put more miles on. But they never quite get why people make that such a big deal. Um, because, again, it varies on your situation, how much you can ride. 
um, it's the same way as me. I have multiple bikes. I have two bikes. I'm fortunate, right? Um, I'm not real fortunate to be out in the country behind a tractor. What the heck? What the heck is going on up here? By the way, I came out this way. And it's a little bit surprising, but you're going to start watching out. Even in Michigan, I know a deer jumped in front of me. Um, didn't have the camera on, of course. <laughs> right? See this truck over here, he's like, heck with it, I'm going to pass on the grass. Um... <laughs> Oh, there's so many jokes I can make right now about that big exhaust pipe sticking out of the back of that big old truck that I'm not going there. I'm not judging you. Now, is this a potential catastrophe here or what? Come on, folks. But so the mileage thing, and, and there's some people that I'm friends with, will say, hey, you know, dude, you hardly ever ride. Yeah, okay. You only put 6,000 miles on Big Mama? That's nothing. What's wrong with you? Oh, yeah, I rode three or 4,000 on my other one, but what, what do you care at the end of the day? Um, I don't care what you ride, how much you ride. As long as you're out there, do what the hell you want. You pay for your bike, do what you want. Um, and, again, it, it really does not bother me that people are... You think this guy in this Focus is going to have the kahunas to go around this thing at some time? I could do a whole video on riding behind a tractor in the country in Michigan. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's my next topic. What do you all think? Can you give me a suggestion on something I could do for riding? Ooh, look at you. Look at you. I'm so proud of you. Oh, man. I'm really proud because there's a kind of a car coming. All right, let's see what kind of pickup we got on our 2021 Road Glide right now after this car comes through. Oh, there's a good thumbnail. <laughs> so, um, but I, so I guess my question is this. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. When, when somebody tells you about how many miles they've gone, are you like me and go, hey, that's cool? But then if they say something in comparison to how many you went or somebody else went or somebody that just rides on the weekend and only rides at 2,000, and it's kind of critical of that, Man, it drives me flipping nuts. Okay, actually, it doesn't really bother me at all. At all, I just don't talk to those folks. So I don't know. I just don't get the whole mileage thing. You know, I uh, I've had this bike for um, you know just about a month of riding, um, and I got 2,700 miles on it. Do you, I don't. I'm thinking you guys don't really care that much about that, right? Um, but if I come on and said. Hey, I have 2,700 miles. I've only had this thing three weeks. I see people out there not riding at all, and they're idiots. I you'd be like, dude, what the heck? Who cares? Um, you know, was, something happened the other day. I forgot what it was. It was, a, it was at a restaurant or somewhere. And something went wrong, right? And, and they made it right for me. And they're like, oh, my God, I am so, so sorry. And I remember saying to them, I'm like, you know, there's a lot of things worse that go on in life than what just happened. Don't worry about it. And it's little things like that that when do people get hung up on that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? Leave a comment in the comment section about how many miles you normally ride. And do you really care what people think about that? Does it annoy you if they're comparing themselves to somebody else? Which is not a healthy thing, I think, in general. Um, I, I was just watching a YouTube, for those of you that are content creators, I was just watching a YouTube channel that they were talking about the kiss of death of either burnout. Yeah, lady's looking the other way, and you could tell her tires were moving. Um, that um, they're always comparing themselves against other channels. Boy, if I compared myself to other channels, I'd be curled up in a ball because uh, we're all just small YouTube channels. And I'll tell you what, the fun part of looking at your how your youtube channel and growing is when you're not comparing yourself to anybody else you're just trying to make progress and you're trying to enjoy yourself and you're trying to you know you meet new friends um that don't talk about mileage all the time america a flag and corn and trees it doesn't get any better than that all right folks hey like i said leave some comments if you don't mind and uh am i overblowing this or eh, probably not a big deal
still a little concerned about that guy driving in the dealership. And if you go by, if you go into Capital Harley Davidson and you purchase Big Mama, I will go out for a ride with you and or your significant other and dinner is on me. Because I would love to do a dual vlog of somebody else riding Big Mama because she's a great bike. And, uh, and me on my uh, new 21 Road Clyde. So go get it. Go get it. It's a great bike. It's only got 9,800 miles on it. Yep. That's it, folks. I'm babbling. I'm done. I got to see how many miles I went today. <laughs> be safe. Be vigilant. Check in a friend. And be nice to people.